Thanks so much for tuning in to Living for Christ Jesus channel. My name is Sherry. Well, in today's video, I'll be talking about a topic titled Don't Kiss the Fate of Your Enemy. Yes, you can see what is actually going on around the world, how things is just, you know, happening everywhere and there. Firstly, let me read the book of Matthew chapter 16 verse 25. Let's hear what the Lord Jesus Christ says. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. In this place, Lord Jesus Christ made something clear to us all. It makes it clear that whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my name's sake shall find it. And don't forget that I'm still on the topic title, Don't Kiss the Fate of Your Enemy. Please stay tuned. Now, how did one save his or her life in the way which can make that person lose his or her life? First, if you have the follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, you know that in this narrow way that leads to everlasting life, you will come across anything in as long as you are still alive. Yes, that is definitely true. You might have had an experience of how the principalities and powers to attack. Yes, as a child of God, you might have had such an experience. And you do observe how effective and powerful the name of the Lord Jesus Christ is during the times of trial. So, how did one save his or her life in the way which makes that person lose it? This happens in different occasions in which some found themselves in the situation where they think they can deny Christ to save themselves from being attacked or being killed. But not knowing the implication of what they are doing is death. Jesus says, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. For whosoever shall lose his life for my sake, shall find it. For instance, if you are a Christian and it happens that you find yourself in a situation whereby you are being adopted by the enemies of God and they ask, yes, and they ask if you are of Christ or if you are the follower of Christ. And because of the fear of their weapons and the horribility of your faces and threats, in response to them, you said, no, no, you are not of Christ, or that you are not a Christian, or that you are not uh, the follower of Christ Jesus. This means that you try to save your life from being killed, or from being attacked, which makes you deny Christ at that moment. The danger of such denial is death because those who adopted you may know that you are a Christian or may know that you are the follower of Christ Jesus. And they want you to deny Christ Jesus before killing you. And if you are being killed at that moment, you know, after they knew that they are a Christian or a follower of Christ Jesus, but you have already denied that you, do not, you are not a follower of Christ Jesus and that you are not a Christian. And if it happens that they killed you at that moment or in days later, means you have lost your soul by trying to save your life and not ready to lose your life for Christ Jesus. Glory be to God in the highest. This is how one loses his or her life while trying to save his or her soul. The topic still remains, don't kiss the feet of your enemy. And Jesus Christ spoke clearly in the last paragraph of Matthew chapter 16 verse 25 that whosoever shall lose his life for my sake shall find it. But when you are in a situation whereby you are being forced to deny Christ Jesus and you have been beaten, threatened, battered, tortured, either alone or among, among many other believers in Christ, and you hold on to Christ Jesus without denying Christ, yes, without denying Christ, despite the difficult situation you find yourself, and because of your adamance, to their evil intention towards you, towards your faith in God, which makes you say, no, I will not deny Christ. I will not deny Christ Jesus. And you are God killed at the process 
The Lord says, Whosoever shall lose his life for my sake shall find it. Glory be to God in the highest. Shall find it means, means that you shall be saved. After rejecting to deny Christ Jesus, the enemies of God will not spare you. Yes, that is during the trial. You know, Christ, Christian trials comes at any time, at a time that you do not even expect. Your trial can come at any time when you don't even expect it. In this place, Lord Jesus Christ said that if you lose your life for his sake, you shall find it. And when you shall open your eyes, you know, by the time they are finished killing you, they'll think that they are doing God's service. By the time they finish killing, killing you because you refused to deny the Lord Jesus Christ, They'll, they'll be happy, they'll be rejoicing, they'll be jubilating, thinking that they have done the right thing. But not knowing that you are already received the crown of life. Not knowing that, it, that by killing you because of, the, because of the witness of the Lord Jesus Christ, or because of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, because you refuse to deny the Lord Jesus Christ, they don't know the great, uh, great thing that you have achieved at that moment. Because when you shall open your eyes in the other realm, you shall see the angels of the Holy God coming, coming towards you, coming to take you into the rest of the Holy God, where you shall rest from all your labors, and there shall you so be until the resurrection day, because you will be rejoicing with the saints which have been beheaded because of the witness of the Lord Jesus Christ, with the saints that are, that are that have already been killed because of the, of the witness of Jesus Christ, because they refused to deny the Lord Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 14, verse 13. Let's hear what the Holy Ghost says. The Spirit says, And I heard the voice from heaven saying to me, Write, Blessed are the dead which died in the Lord from henceforth. Yes, yeah, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works to follow them. Glory be to God in the highest. If you die in Christ Jesus, hear it of the Holy God says, Blessed are you. We can see all what is going on in the world today. And the word of our Lord Jesus Christ shall definitely come to fulfillment. Therefore, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, if you find yourselves in any terrible situation, which is between life and death, don't kiss the feet of your enemy to deny Christ because it is very dangerous for your soul. The time of the great persecution, which is different from all that had happened in the past, is still coming. And during that time, you shall be tried. You shall be forced to deny Christ Jesus. But thus saves the Holy One. In Revelation chapter 2 verse 10, the Lord says, Fear none of those things which you shall suffer, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. But be you faithful. The last paragraph, the Holy God says, Be you faithful to death, and I will give you a crown of life. Glory be to God in the highest. So, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, be you faithful unto death, and the Holy God shall give you the crown of life. Even when the enemies of the Lord Jesus Christ shall try to kill you, or while they are killing you, do not kiss the feet of your enemies. Don't deny Christ. And I pray that the Holy God Almighty will help us all, because what is actually coming, the time of the great persecution, the trial, the tribulation, is going to be a tough one. But the only one who can help us is our God. And I pray that the Lord that helps our fellow Christians, yes, the Holy which had already passed away because they refused to deny the Lord Jesus Christ will help us too to abide in him till the end no matter how the tough no matter how tough the situation may be may the Holy God be with us all Amen so thank you so much for watching and God bless you all the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us all